just a little experiment I'm doing. I have just acquired a huge lot of Milwaukee 12 volt lithium little portable batteries uh, for the uh, small style drill. Um, I don't have a Milwaukee drill. I have a Sears Craftsman. Uh, now the Sears Craftsman uses actually it is an identical battery uh, same electronics inside in order to stop people from using them though uh, you know buying a, a cheaper Craftsman battery and putting it in a more expensive uh, Sears drill they changed the actual casing of it slightly but the terminals themselves pretty much the same labeling T, C1, C2, so that's cell 1, cell 2. There's three cells in here. Uh, so between these three posts here, plus the standard positive and negative, it can balance each cell of the battery pack using the, uh, using the chargers. Now, the Craftsman battery has the same thing. Only difference with the Craftsman is they have it different order and on the opposite side of the battery, as you can see here. Now, because I have so many of these batteries, I've got about 20 of them, of the, uh, uh, I use the Sears. I like my Sears drill. It's lasting forever. Longest lasting drill I ever had, and it's been beat to Royal Hill. I'm actually using one to decrate a scooter. Now, I get more money for these batteries when I resell them, if I can prove, show that they, or test them or charge them first, uh, and see if they hold a charge. Now, since the chargers, are fully automatic and they also have fault detection. If the battery is bad, uh, the circuitry between the battery and the charger uh, will flash the uh, little blinky light, a blinky red light, showing that it is indeed bad. Now the trick though is there's all the different pins inside the charger. You have to match the pins that are in the charger, which are not labeled, to uh, the correct ports on the batteries. So, basically the best thing to do is just take the correct battery for the charger, uh, which is the Sears battery. Now, input it like this, everything lines up correctly and the battery for the Sears will charge. So I just took it straight out and saw which pins go to which spot in here on the charger. And that's what I jumped them to from the charger using these little leads. Um, to the battery. So I have done that already. In this case it was uh, negative, positive, and then we have T, cell 1, cell 2, and I just did the same thing over there. Yes, I did not pay attention to wiring colors. The rest of them, rest of my col different color leads are actually in use on a uh, capacitive battery charger, new, new style I'm testing, so I didn't feel like disconnecting all those. So, um, now most of these batteries that I had gotten in already had some sort of charge in them. It's hard to hold these with one hand. Uh, we're at about 11 point, uh, roughly 11.6 volts. Um, now, of course, make sure None of the leads are touching each other. I had to use uh, a <laughs> small, uh, you use what you got. I had to use scooter hose clamps to be able to stick in there and connect up to the different spots. So now we're going to plug in and see what happens. I'm going to have to, well, the camera's going to get funky for a second here. Oh, wrong, wrong cord. That was for the uh, that scooter that I just rebuilt. There we go. Yellow light initially came on, and uh, no supercharging is available. Just like a Tesla car, uh, the Sears battery chargers actually have a supercharging mode. Uh, you can recharge a dead. Sears lithium battery, uh, for at least the 12 volt ones, it's only the ones I use, so I can't comment on the other ones. 
uh, it goes from uh, 0 to 25 percent in three minutes uh, or otherwise normally it has a 30 minute 100 uh, percent charge time uh, but if you uh, supercharge it from the get-go and then let it finish its charge off normally um, you can usually get that time down to 15 to 20 minutes so the battery is actively charging uh, 12.48 12.5 volts it's a little hard doing this I don't want to wiggle the connections and actually that battery is full that, ba that old battery actually held this charge great uh, I will merge another video in with this. I have to answer my phone.